Hey everyone, John here, Two Wolf for Gaming. No, I said I'd make a little video um, explaining where I've been over the last few days. Uh, it's been a rough one. <laughs> Physically, it's been a rough one. Um, and I'm also going to talk about other things I've been thinking about. Don't, don't think about it as like a let's chat. Think of it as kind of like an update because I haven't made a video in a while. And uh, just I wanted to kind of explain a few things. Uh, so number one. Um, I've basically, my body's been an absolute mess since, like, Friday. If you're following me on Facebook, uh, my Facebook group for this channel, you'll probably know this already, but in case people haven't, um, Friday I got, I wouldn't call it, I, I, I said eye infection, but it solved itself out within, like, two days, so I wouldn't really call it an eye infection. What I think happened was I was I was currently after moving around how my room works in general. Uh, I completely moved where the bed was, where the wardrobes were, everything. Um, just so I, I I've done it to uh, so that I can fit in the workbench and have a space. I do um, what I used to do, and I'm going back doing it again. Um, is uh, called DDP Yoga. Diamond Dallas Page is a wrestler. Um, he has a yoga program, and uh, it's very, very good, and I really like it. And for literally just like doing more than that, by the way, but like literally just movements with dab, no, but like, um, and I understand that I'm severely unfit, so this also has to do with it. A, a, fit, a fitter person, this mightn't be the same for. If you want to do stuff for cardio, my god, I do that stuff for about two minutes. Uh, I'm sweating buckets and I'm breathing heavy because it surprises me how well it actually gets fucking everything going. Your muscles, your heart, everything, it's fucking, it's very good. Uh, I'm getting back into it. But I, I wanted to make room for the yoga mat and the bench, which I've successfully done. Um, but what I think happened was because I moved the bed and the wardrobe and stuff, there are places that probably haven't been swept properly in a while and i kicked up a load of dust and um basically what happened was i woke up the next day which would be the friday i moved i think i moved the stuff around the thursday and my lower eyelid um felt like it was swollen to the point uh that anytime i blinked it was painful it was like my eye was scratched against my eyelid and it was actually awful um, if I had my eye open, it was fine. And if I had my eye closed, it hurt to close the eye. But when it was closed, it didn't even feel okay. It felt weird. It felt like I was doing this nearly. It felt like I was doing this constantly. Like there was pressure being put across my bottom, bottom eyelid. So I uh, got um, antibacterial eye drops and eye wash. So did the eye wash. Then did the eye drops. Um, and that actually cleared it up within like a day and a half. So I don't think it was an infection. What I think what actually happened was that the chemist said, even if you don't have an infection, you can use this antibacterial eye wash. It won't do you any harm. But if it, if it is infected, it'll cure it. Uh, I think all it was was that like a load of dust somehow got underneath the eyelid, which caused it to swell. Um, but it wasn't fun. So I didn't do anything. And then Saturday, I woke up and my stomach wasn't right. It was like... But it wasn't too bad. It was like, I only ate a small lunch. And then I was like, nah. Because I was going out watching the Champions League. Which I'll get to. Um, but. I said, feck it. I'm going out watching this Champions League. I don't care. So I had a small lunch. Didn't eat a dinner. I was like, I'm not risking it. My stomach is fucked. Had like two pints. And they were even hard to put down. Because my stomach was like, no, you don't want pints, John. I drink cider. And cider is pretty heavy anyway. Um. So, so then for the whole night, um, I was just drinking uh, double, and this is from like 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock onwards. Um, I was drinking double Captain Morgan's um, and a Jaeger bomb. I went to the bar every time I ordered, can I have a double Captain Morgan's and a Jaeger bomb? And then I used to use the can of Red Bull in both the drinks, down the Jaeger bomb and then drink the... It was madness. I don't know what I was doing. I don't think I've ever been... Because probably with the no food in my stomach and everything, I don't think I've ever been as drunk in my life. And that's not true, by the way. Uh, but in a while, I don't think I've been that drunk. I don't really remember the end of Hazel's. 
Um, I don't remember getting a taxi home. I don't know. I do. I remember. Hey, I remember getting the taxi to stop, but I was really worried because I didn't remember paying the taxi. And like, I have a history of like that'll be ten euro. Here's a fifty and keep the change. Thanks for dropping me home. So I, I was like, how much did I give that taxi man? I, I it's something I do when I'm drunk. <laughs> but um, don't remember going into the house. Um, I have a vague recollection. I think I did a few duets in Twitch Sings. Um, I have a vague recollection of sitting down and being too drunk to sing, being like, oh, what are the songs? Blah, blah, blah. But then when I went on to it, there was none saved. So I must have had somehow the foresight of going, I'm not saving these to my channel. <laughs> I'm just doing them for the crack. Uh, it's because they weren't there, because next day I went looking for them and they weren't there. Um, so yeah, I... Went to bed, everyone was fine. I woke up the next day and it was as if, and I, I attributed it to the drink, which probably didn't help. Uh, it felt like I had gone fucking 10 rounds with Mike Tyson and all he did was do fucking gut shots. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to die. Uh, which is not the hangover I usually get. I usually get the really bad headache, which I also had. Uh, most of the day it was a really bad headache, but I, my stomach was just fecked. Ate pretty much nothing that day. I ate a small dinner, um, and I think I ate an apple. Um, couldn't handle it. I went to bed at like half ten, eleven o'clock, um, and then I kept waking up because my stomach was so fecked. And then when my stomach was still fecked yesterday, and it was even worse yesterday. Um, I knew that it was more than just a hangover. It was actually something wrong with me. Um, so I started taking shit from my stomach. Um, just, I couldn't do anything. Like, it was actually, when I was sitting down, I was fine. And when I was lying down, I was fine. But I had to constantly run to the bathroom. And would just leave it at that. <laughs> and, um, if I was sitting up, if I was, sit if, sorry, if I was standing up, um, my stomach was like just in absolute tatters so I was like I'm not doing that today this is freaking ridiculous um, and yeah that brings us to today where I'm feeling slightly better but it's not too I'm, I'm not 100% back yet um, but I'm feeling a lot better I wouldn't have been able to do this yesterday um, and stuff should be coming back soon enough I'm thinking because I'm doing other stuff than just these YouTube videos. And in all fairness, the YouTube videos are kind of like my hobby. And I've fallen behind in other things that I'm doing. And there's another thing I'm supposed to be doing um, that isn't even the Unity games development that I haven't gotten to start yet that I really need to get working on. So I'm thinking about just Wednesday and Thursday um, just not releasing videos and not worrying about just not recorded. Just not worrying about videos for the rest of the week. You know, sorry. Uh, actually, when I'm saying I'm thinking about it, I mean that is what's going to happen. Because I need to catch up on my Unity and I need to catch up on um, the other things that I'm doing. So, I, I'm, I'm going to, I've decided, because they're more important, to catch up on those rather than worrying about making content for YouTube for this week. I might have a Let's Chat on Friday. This is kind of Let's Chat. Um... This, this started off just being an update, but this is actually turning into a Let's Chat, so this is kind of Let's Chat, but I probably have another one on Friday anyway. Um, yeah. I was absolutely doing eye infections, extreme hangovers, and then stomach ailments. Um, the Lord decided to give me everything in the span of like five days, and uh, hopefully that means that I'll be grand for the rest of the summer. <laughs> Wah. Anyway. I've had worse. I've had much worse. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I think, like today, when I stand up, it's still a little bit like a little gut punch, but it's not that bad. Um, but I'm just going to refrain from streaming tonight. Uh, I'll probably stream Friday. But I'm just going to take this day just to, I'm not going to do anything today uh, bear this video and this is my last day of recovery and then get back into unity and that other thing I'm doing tomorrow 
Uh, okay, so Beckett, this is a let's chat now because I'm I'm already I'm already into it. Uh, Champions League, Champions League final. We did it, boys. Um, no, I'm only joking. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm opening up a pack of cigarettes right now. Um, I'm not a Liverpool fan. Um, the Champions League final was. Extremely boring. Thank God I was watching that thing in a pub with my friends. Big props to Shane Kendi, everybody, uh, Shane O'Sullivan. Uh, I'm talking about the lads that were loud and obnoxious, but in a funny way. Um, Tommy, even though, even though Liverpool were winning, he was fucking banging tables and going mental at how shit Liverpool were playing. Pass the fucking ball! What are you doing? Um, Stephen Cummins, Shh, the, 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 the shoddy sweepstakes that we did. I'm not saying it was shoddy. Well, he did end up saying that Tom won, but... That's um, but yeah, it was boring. It was very, very boring. Uh, as you know, Liverpool scored like 30 sec. Well, they got the penalty like 30 seconds in. Was it a penalty? Was it? For me, it's a penalty. I understand how it's harsh. Fucking Sissoko is like pointing to his defender or whatever, going, hit, go back that way. Ball gets crossed in, hits him in the chest, goes off the arm, off the chest. But he still stopped the ball. There was no intent in it. I'll give him that. There was no intent in what he was doing. But that's not the issue. The issue is, was his arm in a stupid position? An unnatural position, they don't call it a stupid position, an unnatural position, and did it stop the ball from getting to its intended target? The answer is yes. Even though it hit him there first and then his arm, if it just hit him there and it swirled around him, that wouldn't have been a handball. And like it will be a handball in the Premier League in the letter of the law next season. Because next season intent doesn't come into it at all. It's if the ball hits, because they've done this and you can read up on it, They've done this, it's a new rule, because there's so much ambigu- ambiguity, ambiguity, what's the word? Ambiguity? Am- ambiguity. I knew the word was there somewhere. There's so much ambiguity about what is a handball and what isn't, so they've just said, fuck it. If it hits the arm, it's a fucking handball. Um, basically, just, it's a little bit more nuanced than that, but that's basically the new rule that's coming into the Premiership next year. So by that logic, yes, it is a handball. Um, anyway, they score the penalty. And then the rest of the match, I don't know whether it was that Liverpool decided to throw down the gears and they were like, right, we're not going to throw too many people forward because why would we? Liverpool, who are so famous for attacking you, being on you, just weren't at it. They are doing long balls that were going nowhere the entire match. Could barely pa- string a pass together. Taught them at all the possession, but could do nothing in the final third. It was so... Bo- the amount of times... That the ball went out of play from a pass. Like out for a throw in. From someone trying to pass it to someone. Had my head spinning. Um, and as I said, thanks for the alcohol and good friends for making that entertaining. Somewhat. Because if I was at home watching that on my own. I don't even know if I'd watch the second half. Honestly, I was so, I was so mad at how bored, bored I was. Liverpool won it. Well done, Liverpool. Tottenham, that was your chance. You had the possession. Why did you play Harry Kane for 90 minutes when he wasn't fit? He was blatantly not fit. Who knows? You gotta say Pochettino bottled it. I think, I think he did. You gotta say it. They didn't, they didn't test him at all. They didn't test him at all. Tactics-wise, I don't think he got it right. Yeah, good night. I already, I already described how freaking drunk I got. So, yeah, it was a good night. I also got a few new toys in Amazon this week. It's nearly like a weekly thing. What has John gotten off Amazon this week? I'll show you. I got... I got... USB slots, baby. <laughs> Why did I get this? I got this for a very special reason. Because I have finally, and I got it working. I have it working. 
I just needed more slots. And where is she? Where is she? There she is. You ready? Oh, baby. I've had this. By the way, I can't see anything right now. Um, I've had this for a while. And I don't use it. Because I didn't, ha didn't think I had the room to use it. Uh, it can be a bollocks to set up. But um, I set it up in my small space. And I have it set up to work while sitting down. I calibrated it so that I'm sitting down. And it thinks I'm standing up. The secret is you lie when you're calibrating it and you say you're four feet tall. Thank you, YouTube and Google, for that. <laughs> and you skip some of the setup. You skip, like, there's a thing where you have to go around and you have to mark your area. And that was always a problem for me, even in the old apartment. That took me ages. I had to clear out the whole fucking room nearly to get that working. Um, and... I then I found out that you can just skip that step. You don't have to do that. And I just skipped it. And then I went into the tutorial and everything worked. And it was fine. And it was like I was sitting down. But it was as if I was sitting up. Or standing up. Perfect. But you need four USB slots. Just to get everything you need connected. For the, for the fucking Oculus Rift. By the way, it's not just the Rift. I don't know where the second one... Oh, it's on the floor. Great, yeah, because it doesn't cost fucking arm and a leg. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a touch. It's a touch, baby. So I can actually... I don't need to use a controller. I can use my hands. I've had, I've had this for a while. I just... Who heard that? This is drop it on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't have enough slots to have that... Plus, like, my webcam and my mic and everything I need for streaming and making videos. So now I do. So now I can have everything plugged in and um, it'll be fine. I have to test it out now. Obviously, I haven't taken this out of the box yet. But I have to test it. See if it works with everything. The other thing I got was... Every night in my dreams. Um, it is a drawing pad. Draw. I can draw. Why get a drawing pad? Because I like drawing. I'm not good at drawing, but I like drawing. But the main thing I got it for was that when I'm making games, I can now draw assets. Even if it's just a fucking stick man. That's a stick man that I fucking drew. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, making my own sprites and stuff. Drawing them. Um, should be good. I'm, enjoy I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know where it'll be situated. In the setup. I think I might be able to. Put it here. But. What I can also do. Is do all my artwork on the laptop. And, set and park my laptop. If I'm drawing stuff, I can park my laptop on the kitchen table outside and that'll give me a proper surface to put it down and draw on and then, you know, use a USB stick or whatever to take my drawings over to the computer, which I think might be the most uh, best way of doing it because I don't really have much real estate here to add in a drawing pad. But we'll see. Um, I also made a little video on Facebook. You might have seen it. Um, it's, all, it's all plugged in and shit at the moment, so, but I also got a little dock, cheap dock for my Switch. Now I can use my Switch on my TV again. It's working perfectly. It's very good. I'm very much into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu at the moment. Um, it's fun. And playing The Binding of Isaac. Uh, what, what, actually, that's what I love. The Switch is, has my most advanced Binding of Isaac file because I'm always playing it on the Switch on the go. Um, it's my go-to Binding of Isaac device. But I had never played it docked to the TV before because I lost my dock. Fairly early on. I don't even know where it went. Um, but I never actually had used until like last week. The Joy-Cons. Not connected to the Switch. Just having them actually right here. Right here beside me. Just having them. Here. Play. 
And it's so nice because you can literally like, you can sit down with both your arms down by your sides and fucking play the game. It's so nice for just sitting down in a relaxing position and playing something. I never realized how comfortable these are for playing games. They are. They're really, really nice. So I've been playing a lot of Binding of Isaac on my on the big screen on the Switch as well, just sitting back, relaxing, having the two fucking things. It's lovely. Um So yeah, those are what I bought. That's why I bought them. So I expect to see a few uh not it still takes a bit of setting up to do, and I don't know what I want to play just yet. I'd think about getting Beat Saber, um stuff like that, but expect uh some Oculus Rift uh videos slash streams uh coming up at some stage also very quickly i want to say that i mentioned a while ago that i might do other stuff that isn't gaming related and might start a second channel i think that's actually definitely going to happen uh because i have a few ideas of stuff i want to do that would be easy to do and won't take up much of my time that i would like doing one of them would be maybe doing a two minute version of this like every day uh, kind of showing what I'm doing uh, on a day to day basis uh, and this might be with like my phone it might be completely different I might be like actually mobile and going around the house um, do it every day or every, every so often um, just what's on my mind at the time and like, like, I'm talking about two two and a half minutes long I don't think they do well on the gaming channel because I want to do stuff like that um, but I I don't want it to get in the way of the Let's Plays, but to be honest with you, I like doing the Let's Plays, but it gets stale, if I'm being completely real with you. Um, so I want to do something else, and the only way I can really see that happening, really, is with another channel, so I'll keep you posted on that. Another thing I'm thinking of doing, maybe, is I know a few creators, um, small Irish uh, creators, like YouTube creators, Twitch creators, and I'm thinking about maybe you know, with their permission, doing maybe a few interviews with them and getting their side of being a YouTube creator. Maybe if I can get a few Irish game developers on there as well somehow, um, I could ask them questions about it. And, and maybe even people, you just, anybody I can get my hands on, giving them an old interview. I, I was, honestly, I don't know why that popped into my head, but once it did, I said, I actually kind of want to do that. Um, so stuff like that. Um, and maybe other things as well. I don't know. Just more of a kind of a vloggy, chatty channel. Um, so you don't need to join it if you don't want to. Um, I want to probably... Uh, you can let me know. Should I keep... If I did that, do you still want Let's Chats here on this channel? Or maybe an extra game on a Friday? If that other channel exists. Let me know. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Again, it's not going to be the... Well, probably at this stage, it might be the near future. But it's not immediate. Maybe next week? Maybe not. You know me. I'm lazy. <laughs> right, we'll leave it there. This wasn't supposed to be a let's chat, but it is a let's chat. Let's be real. Um, What are, you, what, what are your thoughts on a new channel? On kind of more stuff like what I just explained. Uh, would you be up for that? Uh, would you watch that? Uh, is there any games you want to see me play? Actually, very quickly. If you want Baba Is You to stay as a game, let your opinions be heard now. Because I'm kind of over it. I'll tell you where it is from my perspective, right? I sit down, right? And it's a puzzle that's like, okay, I don't know how to solve this puzzle. And I spend ages trying to solve it. And it's just my primitive brain. After about 10 or 15 minutes if I'm on the same puzzle. And yes I should just move on to another one. But it's not like. Man this is really taxing. And I'm really enjoying. Uh, not being able to solve this puzzle. Ooh, I'm actually sitting there going. I have no content. Because I can't have me on this puzzle. Not being able to solve it for 15 minutes. Like the last episode. Because I had no other content recorded. And I just that in there i apologize that the last episode of baba is you was just me trying to solve one puzzle for 15 minutes and then i didn't actually solve it um but yeah i i, I get really bored and i kind of go oh god i'm it's a good game it's a good game but i think i might be done with it 
and I can throw something else in that slot. But if people love it, like I did this with getting over it because I was mad at getting over it because it's so hard. But I would have regretted not playing getting over it anymore. It was a different reason. Getting over it, it's not a puzzle like, mm, how am I going to do this? It's like, you know exactly what you have to do. It's just fucking hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's different. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you like adamantly want B uh, Bad Bears U to stay and I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah. Have you ever had an illness? That's not a question. Uh, how have you been feeling? Have you been sick recently? Have, has there been any bugs going around? Have you, have you been keeping well? Um, getting good off of Amazon? Let me know. Uh, put the word sick. Put the word sick into a sentence uh, down below in the comments below so I know you got to the end. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to put this out as soon as I can. So it's probably going to be out around half seven Tuesday, which is random. But feck it, I thought I had no content in a while. Probably won't be content again now till Friday when I do another Let's Chat. If I do one, because this one might be my Let's Chat. Who knows? Um, if not, I'll see you next week. Um, as always, I love you. I'm feeling a lot better. We're still getting over it, though. And I'll see you next time. Bye!